Never said I'm perfect, so be easy. Said it would be worth it, not be easy. Shorty go too hard, told her take it easy. Hello, my beautiful budgeting family. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I greatly appreciate it. But if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra. I am a zero-based cash budgeter. I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis. I also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you here. Hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below. I would love to communicate with you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys. So in today's video, I am doing my weekly paycheck budget. So this is my first budget for the month of July, my first paycheck. So right here, what you see is my monthly budget breakdown. So I did my monthly budget which is all these numbers right here is what I have budgeted for for the month. So my mortgage is $1,238. I um, divide that by four and split it up throughout the four weeks because I am one month ahead. So this is easy to do when you're one month ahead. When you're not one month ahead, you can't really do it like this. But um, I take the $1,238, I split it up um, into four, so $310 is what I stuff every single week, and that gives me a total of $1,240, so I stuff an extra $2 because I do round up. Same for my phone, I divide it by four, and that gives me $20 each week, which will give me my $80 at the end of the month, and... I'll be um, ready for the month of August. So I have all of this down. So this helps me with my paycheck budget. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to my paycheck budget. I budgeted $1,100 and I actually got paid $1,202. So I always leave the change in the bank, so. 1202 which is awesome that's 102 dollars more than what i have budgeted for so let's go ahead and get into it so of course my bills are always going to stay the same so i always want to make sure i'm budgeting what is needed for my bills so 310 for mortgage 20 for phone 23 for my car insurance 10 dollars for electric $19 for water. I am not stuffing sewer this week. My sewer is $30 a month. So this week I'm going to skip and then the next three weeks I'll stuff 10 which will give me my $30 for the month. So sewer is not getting anything and then gas is going to get 20 this week. And water, my my um, portion of my water bill is $19. So after I stuff this week, that'll be fully stuffed. So let's go ahead and add this up. That gives me $402. And then we'll do 1,202 minus 402 gives me 800 all right so then for my variable expenses gym isn't getting anything netflix isn't getting anything and canva isn't getting anything this week so we are stuffing cvs with seven amazon music with six and we are stuffing my acorns with five and then after this week those three will be fully stuffed and then takeout is getting 55. Groceries is getting 75. Gas, I still have a full tank, so that is gonna get zero. And then miscellaneous, miscellaneous is going to get 34. All right, so let's add that up. All right, 
right? So we get 182, and then we're going to subtract that from 800, which gives me 618. So since I did get paid $102 more, and I have been explaining to you guys that I want to focus on getting my high yield out the way because pretty much my high yield is what I'm using as my three to, three to six months of emergency funds so if you um, follow dave ramsey he suggests that you get through the six months ahead in your bills so that's what my high yield is going towards my through the six months which is why i always try to focus on giving it something each month so i've pretty much always focused on giving it 50 which i feel like I should be doing more if I can so this is one of those situations where I can do more so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it 100 instead of 50 and then let's see subtract 100 which will leave me with 518 and then We'll divide by two like I did in my budget and we have 259 is that right 259 plus 259 equals let me see plus 100 okay so let's see, 100, I feel like something is off, but maybe not. All right, so now I have an extra 259 minus 233, which is what I originally budgeted for my savings challenges. So I have an extra $26 to put towards my savings challenges. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put that to my savings with Shalanda because I haven't been stuffing that one and I want to uh, see how far I can get. So originally I budgeted 37 and we're adding $26 to it. So plus 37, which means I'm going to stuff $63 instead of 37 all right so that is good and then when i do my paycheck denominations i'll break down which sinking funds i'm going to stub so that is how i do my paycheck budget so this will add up to 618 which will give me my zero base budget and then i like to add these three numbers up to make sure it equals out to my paycheck make sure my numbers are correct so 402 plus 182 plus 618 equals 1202 so that is correct all right so let's go ahead and move on to my paycheck denomination i'm going to go ahead and write list out my categories and then we'll pick out the denominations together All right, you guys, so that is my categories written down. So for my sinking funds, I like to go ahead and look through my binders and figure out which envelopes I'm gonna stuff. That way I can pick, pick out the denominations for each envelope. And then when it comes time to stuff, it'll just make it that much easier. So let's go ahead and start off with my short term sinking funds binder and for me i do have 70 dollars and i want to give myself 30. so i'm going to give myself 30. 
I want to give the kids, I'm going to give them 20 this week because I feel like I haven't been giving them much. Even though Jenna's birthday envelope is fully stuffed with $500, I'm going to give all the kids 20. All right, and then household, let's count this down as we go. So that's 259 minus 30 minus 60. That gives me 169. And then household, I am just going to give that five today. Household, $5, fun. Fun, I'm gonna give fun 10. Holidays, we're gonna get zero. Um, Christmas, I am trying to stuff Christmas a little more. So Christmas um, is going to get 20 a day. All right, so we'll be subtract five, subtract 10, subtract 20. Um, maintain my card that has 330, hmm, let's give it 20. Maintain car is going to get 20. Check 20. Furniture, let's give furniture 10, subtract 10. All right, so that's it for that binder. Then let's go into my high priority, which I've been stuffing this one the most, so I think I'm gonna get these 10. So home, car, medical, dental, and eye care. are all going to get 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so subtract 50, leaves me with 54, oh, I did say I wanted to stuff, ooh, I wanted to stuff my, um, my dining out, so let me see, do I want to stuff anything in here, I might have to pass up on this one. Vacation, gifts, giveaway, business, B-Day. I think I could pass up on this one for now. I do plan on taking a vacation, but yeah, I have time. So I plan on after this weekend, I have off for the holidays. So I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off. No, I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So no overtime this weekend, but the next three weekends I plan on doing overtime and um, most of that overtime money I'm going to be putting towards vacation. So this $54 is going to go towards dining out because I do have four days off and I might want to dine, dine out one of those days and right now we have like $13 in my dining out envelope so yeah that 54 is gonna go there and that is it all right so let's go ahead and pick out the denomination so we have 300 I want to change the color I'm gonna use a different color let's use pink We are doing 300 and 110, 120, 120, and three ones for car insurance. For my utilities, oh, we're just shy of $50. All right, so let's do two 20s, which is 40, a five, which is 45. Uh, 
two twenties, a five, which is 45, and then four ones. And then we have CVS, which is getting a five and two ones, Amazon Music. Oh, you know what? I did start adding these together and that way I won't have to take out so many ones. Oh, wow. We'll just have to do it this time around. So Amazon Music is going to get a five and a one. Acorns is going to get a five. Takeout is going to get 120, three tens, and a five. Groceries is going to get three twenties, one ten, and a five. Miscellaneous is going to get three tens and four ones. High yield, oh, I'll put 50. Um, I'm so used to putting 50. High yield is getting 100 this time around. Just use the pink. 100 so one 100 dollar bill and then my savings challenges which i need to look back at this so of course i need 50 for my 5k so that's the only one that's going to get a 50 and then free day free friday is going to be ones but we're going to do bigger denominations and exchange it for ones that i have already here so hmm day freebie Friday B day freebie Friday dang 209 all right so let's just do let's do 10 20s that's what we're gonna do 10 20s a five and four one so that should be 250 255 56 58 yeah all right so hopefully i have some cash here where i can like switch out the denominations that i need so i don't want to have to take out a bunch of ones all right so that's it for that upper portion and now this is just my sinking funds so for me i'm going to give myself a 20 and a 10. kanaya will get 20 jenna 20 jewels 20 household five fun is going to get a 10 christmas 20 maintain car 20 Furniture, 10, home, 10, car, 10, medical, 10, dental, 10, eye care, 10, dining out is going to get two 20s, a 10, and four ones. All right, so now let's add this up. So 400 gives me 400. We have 150, which is 50. We have four. 5, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 20s. So 26 times 20 gives me 520. All right. So then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 10s which is 170 then we have one two three four five six seven eight fives which is i can't remember 40 so eight fives which is 40 and then seven eight nine ten eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two ones which is 22 so let's see if this is correct so we have 400 plus 50 plus 5 plus 520 plus 170 plus 40 plus 22 equals 1202 so yes we did that perfect and now I can clean this off fill this out and take it to the bank so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.